Okay, hello. Now I'm going to show you how do you define your sprint. Okay, and to illustrate it, I'm going to use the administration uh, functionality. Okay, so when you want to define your sprint, and I'm going to define the first sprint, which is the, fr the sprint where you, where you implement the functionality and uh, test it using the Spock technology. So the first thing you need to do is to define what is going to be in the Spring uh, backlog. So what are the stories that you, that you want to implement? So to decide which stories you want to implement, basically you should go to your um, functionality decomposition into features and look at what are the open stories that you want to implement in this sprint. Okay? Um, just to simplify it, I'm going to pick only one, but you can actually pick several and decide to implement several in, in, in the sprint. So it's, uh, you need to read what we ask for the first uh, delivery of the project and we should decide what to do for that. But okay, let's, in, our, in my case, if I want to, to implement only a, a, single, a, a single story, I'm gonna basically pick the one that is required at all the other feature stories to be implemented before all the other uh, feature stories. So what I'm going to do, since um, this is not completely supported by GitHub, is that I'm going to copy it, okay, and I'm going to move to another project, okay, and this is the project that is associated with the first sprint, okay, which is the domain functionality and Spock test, okay, and in this first sprint, what I've done, actually, I just replicated here, I just copied, pasted here, the story that I want to implement that came from the cabin, uh, the composition of the functionality into features. First of all, I would like to give you um, an overview of uh, what's going to be the structure of your spring. And basically, what you have, you have here, the stories that you're going to implement in that sprint which in your case are the stories that you want to implement till deliver of the project. So we are going to have four projects, so you, you need to, to write, to put here the stories you are going to implement for each one of the phases of the project. Then what you're going to do next, you're going to decompose these stories into a set of tasks that are going to be implemented. So what you're going to do then is that as you implement each task, so these are not started tasks, and then you move, when you decide to implement a task, you move it to the progress task, and when the task is done, you move it to the tasks done. When all the tasks associated with the story are implemented, you move the story to the review stories. And in the review stories, I will explain it later, you need to ask your colleagues basically to review the code and accept the code. Once the, set, the story is accepted, you can move it here, and if you move it here, then you can, you, you can consider that it is finished, that this story is implemented. Okay. Now just a short explanation of uh, what was the strategy to decompose this story into a set of tasks. We are following a, a test-first approach. And in this test-first first, first approach, the first thing we're going to do is to define the test cases. And then implement the test cases and only then implement the story as a service. And after we have done this, you can refactor the service implementation and the test cases. I'm going to explain why we do it this way. Basically, look, it's why we have not done a, a very extensive requirements engineering phase. So basically, you have the value of the story, you have an idea about what is its complexity, but it's not completely defined. So it's now time to have a precise definition of what is going to be the, the, your story. And the way you're going to do it, there are other ways to do it, we'll learn in this course, but the way you're going to do it now is by defining the test cases. So we're going to define a set of test cases that basically we try by defining these test, test cases, we try to specify what actually should be the behavior of the story. Finally, a note about, um, I'm showing, showing this sprint only for one functionality, but in your case, you are a group of six, so 
you should have stories in the backlog for each one of the group, uh, for each one of the functionalities, each one of the three functionalities, so that the group, the group of six, works together while, while but of course, uh, two of the students work in, uh, in their own functionality, in their own stories. But at the end, the deliver is going to be a deliver for the six elements of the group. Okay, good work.